Good afternoon and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. And today's video is has been requested by a couple of people now. Uh, and I thought I'd just touch on it. And to be honest, there are a number of videos on YouTube about it. Um, but for those that are getting into the world of sort of drone or quadcopter flying, um, this probably will help you um, with regards to the six cell batteries which uh, we come across more so in the drones than we do in normal radio controlled flying uh, helicopters and uh, planes. So what is the video today? The video is going to be about storage of your six cell batteries. And what, why we're talking about storage, uh, depending on where you are in the world, you know, if you're in Australia at the moment, you know, you're starting to get into the sort of wintry season. The chances of you getting outside is, you know, not going to be great. Whilst at the moment in the UK, you know, we're in our summer season, so we're going to be out and about more so. And of course, every country around the world is going to be different. So this video will help everyone, basically. And it's how you store your six cell batteries so that they don't, basically go bad, uh, they don't lose their performance whilst you know your uh, drone or quadcopter is currently uh, in a box or in the, in the loft or in the garage waiting for decent weather. So today we are looking at ways to store it and I'm going to use two devices today. Number one is this which is your simple balancer. Um, balancer. Uh, five, six quid, I think it was. And the other option is using, um, for me anyway, it is the uh, LiPo balance charger, which is what's used to charge these batteries anyway, and how we can utilize that as well. So we're gonna basically talk about storing your LiPo batteries. So let's get to it. So, our first look is going to be at something that we've all got because if we didn't have one then we wouldn't have a drone and that is your lipo charger that we have here and what we are going to do is we are going to be putting the six cell battery that we got here into a storage mode so first things first to get the best result possible that we can send uh, and let the charger know exactly the state of the battery is to turn the battery on. Like so. Now, we are looking for the option here that says storage. And we're gonna go one amp at six cell. We are gonna start that. Okay, and we're going to monitor these. These are all the six cells in there. Now, this has already been done, so it might go off in a minute. But what this is going to do is this is going to reduce the voltage down or boost it up, depending on uh, the state of the battery, to 3.8 volts per cell. Once it's done that, it's put it in storage mode. That's all it's doing. It's just simply um, putting each cell into 3.8, which is supposedly the most uh, secure and um, efficient way of storing your battery. 3.8 cell uh, per, 3.8 volts, sorry, per cell. And all this balancing or, or is doing is just making sure that they hit approximately the 3.8 per cell. And that's how we use this to balance it out. This is ideal if your battery is lower than 3.8 because it will charge it, or if it's higher than 3.8, it will just um, sort of, uh, what's the word I want to use? Um, take away the energy, so to speak, from the battery to get you the ideal voltage. 
And that, so that's how that works. And that's all you do. There's nothing else that needs to be done. That will now cut off at 3.8. And then all you do is you just turn the battery off and you have a stored battery. And so the final way we can do this, and this is probably ideal for those batteries that are uh, higher than 3.8 and just need to de discharging, is to use this balancer here, which isn't powered by mains. All it will simply do is with a click of a button, you can either balance out the cells or you can discharge the battery right down to nothing. Now, I have said in previous videos before that discharging these batteries to nothing does have an effect and can damage them. It's always best to leave some juice in the battery. And so, in this case, uh, this is now all pretty much at 3.8 so 3.8 volts per cell. There's a few odd, but then you can't get it exactly right all the time. And that doesn't need to be touched. However, this little contraption here can uh, start to discharge the battery. And once that's done, or once you, you bear in mind you're gonna have to monitor it, once it's down to 3.8 uh, volts per cell, you just simply unplug the wire from the side of the battery. So remember, this isn't charging it, this will be used to just discharge it and get rid of the en uh, energy in the battery down to 3.8. So those are the two methods that you can use to basically store your battery. So I hope those two very short methods of showing you how to store battery has been useful to you. There is no switch, there is no, um, uh, you know, method of storing a battery as such that flicks it into a certain mode. It's all about discharging or charging the battery to a safe level. And 3.8 volts for a six cell LiPo battery is what they define as a safe uh, and most efficient way of storing a battery so that you don't have any problems when you go to uh, fly your drone in a month or so and find that the, you're getting nowhere near the performance that you used to because basically your LiPo battery is degrading. What you have to remember as well is that these batteries will never stay 100% efficient. You know, every time you use them, they are generally, you know, slowly, it's a bit like depreciation on a car. Uh, the more you use it, the, the, the more it's depreciating. And in this case, it's not about money, it's about the energy inside. So yes, uh, that's how you store uh, LiPo batteries for whatever reason you might be do, using or storing them for. And when is a good time to store it? Well, to be honest, probably best that if you're not gonna be flying for a week or more, then whack it into a, a safe voltage, 3.8, and you will be good to go the next time around to charge it. So call it a week and you'll be fine. Anything less than that, it's probably not worth it too much. So there you have it. Now, um, I just wanna thank you all again for watching my video and watching and subscribing to my channel if you already have. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when I post new videos. And I, once again, appreciate everyone who uh, gives me the thumbs up. I appreciate uh, all your comments um, and any further advice that is helpful to me and helpful to the other people that view the videos. And slowly and surely we're, we're getting there with popularity, you know, at the moment because I'm just concentrating on the scout, you know, the market is limited. But in the future, as we go along, you know, the channel will and is getting more and more popular. In the meantime, please visit my website, which is dronesco.uk. That's dronesco.uk. Uh, there's a link in the description where you can get some up-to-date uh, news on drones throughout the world. Uh, more videos are, that are on my YouTube channel are all listed there. And of course, there's the shop where you can buy uh, any accessories for your scout. Uh, 
any additional batteries, uh, the Tally H500, and also uh, other uh, drones that are available to purchase uh, through the supplier. So that's again, thanks very much for watching, and I will catch up with you all again very soon. Take care and see you soon.